Hello everyone, it's Phil here doing another sound card review. This time we're looking at the Yamaha Audition 32 Plus based on the YMF718S chip. So here we've got the card in all its glory. Now this video review is uh, packed, lots of information. I'm showing you how to install the sound card under Windows 98, MS-DOS mode, MS-DOS, showing you how to configure the resources. We're looking at the soft uh, general MIDI synth and uh, lots of other interesting topics. So let's have a quick look at the card. At the back here we've got the MIDI and the game port. This is a full MPU 401 MIDI interface. It does not have any uh, hanging note bugs, so you can use it um, with all your MIDI devices. It's got a microphone in, a line in, and an audio out. The audio out can be configured either as line out or speak out. And to have a better quality, make sure that the jumpers here are at the uh, set to the top. That way um, you're using line out and not speak out. You've got some inputs here for the mixer to connect your uh, CD-ROM audio port, for example. And here we've got the wavetable header. One thing I need to mention with the uh, wavetable header for this card is that larger cards don't really fit well on this card. So if you put this card here, you'll see that this is actually a little bit too big. Um, so for this card, I recommend you get a wavetable module that's a little bit smaller. For example, this one here that fits that card quite nicely. The other thing that's cool about this card is that you can still get it new and boxed. I don't have the box anymore, but it uh, also comes with the driver disk and some uh, user instructions here. So drivers on the disk for uh, Windows uh, 3.1, 95, 98 and also MS-DOS. Um, I will talk about the drivers a bit more. The drivers on disk are not the latest. There are newer ones from the uh, website, but otherwise they actually work quite well. Okay, that's it for looking at the card. Let's move on to the next section. Driver installation in Windows 95 and 98 is pretty straightforward. Even the drivers on the CD are a little bit outdated and the drivers Windows 98 comes with, they are quite outdated and don't really work that well. So I do recommend you download uh, the latest driver. I'll put a link down in the description. I've um, dedicated a page on my website to the sound card which has all the resources, but you can also download the installer from the uh, Yamaha website. And the cool thing is that it will also install um, the MS-DOS compatibility from uh, within Windows 98. So if you wanna run DOS games from within Windows 98, but also from um, MS-DOS mode. So if you shut down the computer and restart into MS-DOS mode, it will also have the drivers. For some reason when I installed it and uh, captured this video, the volume uh, control, um, control in the bottom right of the taskbar didn't show up, but that's really um, easily fixed. You just go to multimedia and there's a tick box um, and you just tick that and press OK and then you've got the volume mixer in your taskbar. There's some additional software on the CD. One is called uh, Y Station. It's basically seems to be a, a music player for MIDI, Wave, and uh, Audio CD. And the other one is for 3D for 3D uh, stereo effect um, with a tick box. And you can tick it on and off. So basically, if you're interested in that software, you have to get it from the installation CD. If you've lost the installation CD, I've also uploaded it uh, onto my website as an ISO image, so you can always grab it from there. In the control panel, you can find a configuration utility. Here you can change uh, the microphone boost, for example, and something that's called a ZV port. I'm not quite sure what it is, so if you do know, please let me know. But what's really uh, cool is that this card actually has a soft uh, synth for general MIDI. You can set, select the quality. I believe that's probably to do with how much uh, processing power it takes. Um, you can turn re reverb on and off. And you can also configure the MPU 401 output for MIDI. So this determines whether or not you're using uh, the soft general MIDI, soft synth there, or an external MIDI device. An external MIDI device could be either a wavetable header or an external MIDI device connected to your MIDI 
joystick port. So uh, the wavetable header and the uh, MIDI joystick port, they will uh, operate simultaneously. So if you're using a, the wavetable module and you've got an external device connected, they will play at the same time. Also important to know that the soft synth only works from within Windows 98. So you gotta be in Windows 98 and run games uh, through the MS-DOS prompt. If you reboot into the MS-DOS mode, you cannot use the soft synth so here we're now just going to look, um, listen to what the soft synth sounds like in two games, Doom and Descent. Under DOS, the card is compatible to the Sound Blaster Pro 2. Do note that the Sound Blaster Pro 2 has Zero. the left and right Zero. channels uh, swapped. So Zero. some programs Zero. cater for that, some programs Zero. have an option for that, some programs you Zero. need to uh, swap Zero. the cables manually. Zero. So it's just something to be aware of. So in this part, we're gonna talk about uh, installing the drivers for MS-DOS. Like I mentioned before, if you're installing from Windows 95, Windows 98, or Windows 3.1, it will install the MS-DOS drivers for you. That is for MS-DOS mode for Windows 95 and Windows 98, and for MS-DOS for Windows 3.1. All you have to do is go to the installation CD into the setup folder and run setup, and it will automatically detect what version of Windows you're running. Um, alternatively, there is a uh, updated driver for Windows 3.1 and also Windows 95, Windows 98. And I'll put the links down um, onto my website. The other option you have, if you're running a pure MS-DOS uh, system with no Windows 3.1 uh, installed, there is a separate DOS installer. So on the CD, you just go into the folder uh, DOS and run install and you just follow the prompts and then it'll, it'll configure the config and auto exec files for you. Okay, so we covered Windows 98 installation pretty uh, thorough. So now we're looking at MS-DOS. In my case, I'm using Windows 98 and I'm shutting down into the MS-DOS mode. So this is running MS-DOS 7.1. And here we have the software. So here we can change all the resources, interrupts, addresses, and DMAs. We can turn the game port off, for example. Um, we have separate resources for the Sound Blaster and the Windows Sound System. So under DOS, it's also compatible with the Windows Sound System. And we have two mixers, one for the Sound Blaster and once again, another mixer for the Windows Sound System. With the mixer settings, um, I believe you will need to tweak, uh, tweak them a little bit. I found that the uh, digital voice, the speech, the sound effects, is quite loud compared to the FM music, so you might have to boost the volume of the FM music a little bit and or reduce the volume for the digital uh, sound effects. At the end, just press enter um, to uh, apply the settings and it will ask you if you want this program to reappear the next time you uh, boot into MS-DOS. Um, so if you say no, it won't appear again and you have to man manually start that program. Otherwise, it will reappear every time you uh, run, you boot into MS-DOS. On the Vogons forums, a lot of users have mentioned that you should edit the uh, configuration file to change the uh, base, uh, treble, and also Y immersion settings and uh, set them to zero. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. If you installed it under Windows 98, you have to go to the uh, programs folder and just follow, follow the video and edit the um, file here. And then we're looking for the uh, Y immersion, base and treble, and we're just setting them to zero. So I believe what that does is just uh, makes it sound neutral without any uh, effects applied. And that's it for my review on the Yamaha 
Audition 32 Plus. What do I think about this card? I think a lot about this card. I think it's really, really good. Um, it's highly compatible. Tried it with some of the uh, more difficult DOS games from Sierra and uh, LucasArts and works really well. Um, compatible with the Sound Blaster Pro 2 and also the Windows Sound System, so that just gives you another option. It doesn't have a hanging note bug on the wavetable port. Um, the MPU MPU 401 interface also works fine in DOS. Under Windows 98, using the uh, soft general MIDI synth is also a cool feature to have. The sound quality is very good of this card. It's uh, very quiet, not noisy at all. It doesn't pick up many uh, much uh, interference. And if you want a pure Yamaha uh, OPL3 sound, and this card is really, really, really awesome. Um, it does um, a better job than some of the, uh, well, than many of the creative cards. They tend to be a bit on the noisy side and the uh, newer cards, they don't have a real Yamaha OPL3 chip. So if that's something that you're interested in, then this card is definitely for you. It's also cool that you can still buy this card uh, completely boxed with the manual, the, insta the box, the and the installation disc all inside. And yep, really happy with the card. So that's it for me. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Any questions and comments and feedbacks, uh, leave me, leave them down below. Um, if you've got this card or a similar card, let me know how you go and, and um, if you found any issues with this card. Also, also share it with the community because I'm always eager to to hear other people's opinions.